Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a huge Dollar Tree fall haul for you guys. So if that's something you're interested in, then just keep watching. Okay, you guys, so this is a huge, huge haul. So I'm just going to jump right in. I'm going to kind of go through the items a little bit more quickly than usual just because I have so much stuff I want to get through I was thinking about splitting this up into two videos so I don't know we'll see how that goes but I'm just gonna jump right into it so I am going to start with all of the fall signs now these are like I don't know in my opinion they're all signs um, I have some die cut unfinished signs and then I have some I have a bunch of signs so let's just let's just go so these are new at least to me um, if I say these are new that means they're new to me I don't know if they were here last year I didn't see them so I just wanted to make that disclaimer um, they're new to me so this says, in all things, give thanks. And they are like little mason jars. They have the little detail at the top with the galvanized metal. They have the little bow. It's that beautiful, like, greenish, bluish color. So, um, these are perfect for, like, tiered trays. Um, hutches all kinds of stuff or you could flip it over and do something different on the back so this one says I love fall most of all this one says thankful grateful and truly blessed which is one of my favorite sayings this rings true to me all day every day I thank God every single day for every little thing that I have because honestly tomorrow isn't promised and I didn't have the best past so everything that I've built and that I have now um, I'm just so grateful and I feel truly blessed so there's that one that brown color and then last but not least oh my gourd I love fall <laughs> look how cute that is I actually have a chalk couture transfer that says this I'm pretty sure okay now these are from last year but I used them a bunch so I did pick up two of them welcome friends with a little sunflower peekaboo <laughs> and then these are new they're the same like shape and stuff actually they're a little bit different of a shape but I did not see these last year so it's got the buffalo check it says give thanks this little leaf is raised and it's on like a base so that it can stand up so this one is um taller and then this one's like shorter but, of course, it's got that glitter all over it. Oh, my goodness. Lord, help us all glitter. I love, like, I love glitter. But I don't like the mess that glitter makes, if that makes sense. Anybody else? Let me know in the comments. Okay. I can't remember if I saw anybody haul these last year. I know that I didn't see them in my store. But I do feel like these were in hauls last year but I don't know let me know in the comments so they are these they're pretty heavy they're not wood I think they're like that MDF board and then they print that wooden um, grain on it like that's not real wood grain it's printed on there but it is 3d it has a beautiful little bow on it 
obviously um, I got an S for Sophia because she wanted this one but I ended up getting two of each size and I wasn't too worried about the lettering because I'll probably paint that over so I got two orange two white okay these are also new um the shape is not new you guys know that they always have little decor pieces or signs like these but the patterns are different so that one has the buffalo check or what i think that's oh, okay that is buffalo check um welcome fall it's got the buffalo check black and white this one says family, friends, and football, and it's got the orange buffalo check. This one has, I don't know what design this is, and it says happy fall. I loved it so much. I love it as is. Um, but I was thinking about taking this off and just using the background, especially on this one, because you guys, we don't watch football. I know that's probably like an unpopular opinion, but we don't watch football. We don't have time really to watch TV. Like we are just go, 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 go. My husband literally owns his own business and works a regular job. So he works 7 a.m. to sometimes 6 p.m. and then goes to his business and he works every single weekend and then I am like a 24-hour job. I take care of the kids. I take care of the house. I do all the things. I'm his secretary. I do all the paperwork for his business, estimates, um, you know, payment, like all that stuff, plus my own stuff with YouTube and Chalk Couture. And so we literally have like no extra time. I'm hoping to take like a little vacation, hopefully, fingers crossed, but my husband has two huge jobs going on right now. He's a handyman and he like remodels houses and he does everything in between from small projects to big projects. If you need something done in your home to your landscaping, trees cut, I mean, you name it, this man does it. He will never turn down a dollar. I love that about him. And so the point is we always go, 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 like I said, 30 trillion times. So anyway, now I guess you can consider the, they're not signs, but these are the, matter of fact, I'm going to go. I'm going to stay on topic here. I was going to kind of veer off, but I'll do that in a minute. So these are the other cutouts. Now these were here, la or at, I've seen them last year. One says boo, one says eek. And a lot of this stuff I picked up to show you guys and I'm going to do a giveaway per usual every time I do a haul. If I don't have another runaway, <laughs> if I don't have another runaway, yep. Yeah. If I don't have another giveaway running, I will do a Dollar Tree giveaway or whatever. So when this video comes out, I will have a giveaway ending. So I will start a new giveaway and I will put together a box of some of these items for you guys. So to enter the giveaway, like this video, um, share it with your family and friends if you think that they would enjoy it. Let me know your favorite holiday and for a bonus entry, go in the description box below. If you don't know what the description box is, click the title of this video underneath the video and you will see a box appear. In that box, you will see Shop Chalk Couture here and it'll say all links are in one place. Click that link and if you scroll down, you will see join my VIP group on Facebook. Join that group and you will get an extra entry into the giveaway and it will run let me get my dates correct just so I don't get lying to you guys. August 6th 
to August 13th at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will pick one winner and I will announce the winner on my community tab. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you have your bell notification on. That way you don't miss when I announce. Okay. So these are the die cuts. I don't remember seeing these last year. Again, I could be wrong. One says thankful and blessed and it has kind of like greenery at the bottom or, you know, whatever you want to call that. I call it greenery. If you want to call it something else, you're more than welcome to. And this one says harvest wishes. Now these are very thin. So if you grab some, definitely be careful. Um, because they will like snap in half on you and they're not the sturdiest but for a dollar I mean you can't beat you cannot beat that this one says welcome full and it's just a pumpkin now I was on the hunt for just the plain pumpkins and neither of my stores had them the ones that I checked I I usually shop like five or six different Dollar Trees and with two littles in tow can be a bit challenging, but it's all for the thrill of the hunt, right? Like trying to hunt for that item, like you just want to get your hands on so bad. It's just like a thrill. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm not, but I couldn't find any of them, so I did pick up a few of these so that way I could do um, something on the back if I wanted to so there's that one and that one has a bunch of leaves on it and the welcome fall and the leaves are raised I don't know if you saw that but they are raised so I thought that was pretty cute these I definitely did not see last year and I was so excited to see them because they are so farmhouse look at these you guys <gasps> Oh my god, can you believe it? They're like shiplap pumpkins. Like, get out, for real. Look at that. Just get out. Just get out. Like, what? Okay, I picked up quite a few of those. I picked up three. Um, Look at this one. I think I saw this last year, but I don't know. You guys, I can't remember what happened five minutes ago, let alone last year. So, sometimes I see something and it, like, sparks a memory a little bit. But then I'm like, my mind plays tricks on me constantly. So, I'm like, okay, well, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. But, it is the Halloween. I don't know if you guys can see that. There you go. It is the Halloween, like, haunted house with kind of, like, a spooky design around it I see you <laughs> all right I'm just being silly you guys like I don't get to be silly in my DIY videos so that's why I like to be silly um on these hauls because what is life if you can't have a little fun and laugh and joke and play and whatever like ugh, boring Okay, these are new. They're really cute. Halloween die cut DIY box. There were several of them, so I will insert a clip here of the Halloween aisle. Actually, no, I'm lying. I did not bring my phone in because my 15-year-old sat in the car with the two girls why I ran in real quick and the girls were hooked up to my Wi-Fi on my phone so I didn't want to bring the phone in the store and disconnect them so I did not get a clip of that but I do know there are several different uh I don't know designs if you want to call it that but different like faces I think one's like a skull I can't remember exactly but there are different ones and then this comes out I guess so you could put a light in there you can paint it you can do a bunch of different stuff so um I thought that was really really cute come on girl get it back on there all right 
These I don't think I saw last year. Look how cute these are. Die cut skeleton. I do remember like the plastic skeletons like this, but I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Did they have these um, plain wood, unfinished wood skeletons last year? And it's a good size. I mean, like this is my arm. It's pretty, pretty good size. This I definitely didn't see last year. And I'm not usually into decorating or DIYing for Halloween. I'm more of just like a farmhouse, go to fall, go to Christmas, back to, you know, whatever. But I usually skip right over Halloween just because um, I never really was like into decorating for it. But this year I'm so excited to decorate for Halloween. Sophia's going to be six. Bella's getting ready to be one. Guys, can you believe Bella is getting ready to be one? If you guys have been around me, this time last year, I was getting ready to go in the hospital and have her. And it just blows my mind how quickly time goes. Ugh, I wish it would slow down. But Chalk Couture got me really, really excited to decorate for Halloween this year. So, um... I got this trick-or-treat tombstone okay now these are for Sophia but I thought that they were so cute one's a pumpkin and one is like a little witch and she can paint them up herself and you know play with them I thought they were so cute for a dollar like what and I'm pretty sure I'm going to homeschool her this year. Probably homeschool going forward. Um, there's just some things that I don't agree with as far as um, all the stuff going on in the world and the kids. And, um, you know, I think it's one thing for the adults to do certain things, but to subject, subject the children to do those things. I just don't agree with and I point blank period I'm pretty sure she's gonna be homeschooled so this kind of stuff is perfect for homeschooling because at her age a lot of learning is still done through play and you know coloring and stuff like that so this kind of stuff is going to be perfect for that Next, last year I did a super, super cute um, ghost. Everybody loved that project. I was kind of unsure if people would and every single comment was about this little ghost. So I picked another one up and we will see what I come up with this year. This is also not new. I picked up one of these um, haunted house cutouts. You can do a lot with these as well. I should have picked up two because I have an idea, but I'll run back and get another one for my idea. Okay, now these are kind of along the lines of the other pumpkin that had the raised wording. These are also not new, um, but I did pick these up as well to probably flip over and do something on the back. So. I picked up two of those. Okay, I got them all right here in front of me. All the signs, you guys, they killed it, killed it, killed it in the sign department this year. 90% of these, I would keep just the way they are because they're that good. Like, I'm impressed for a dollar. But you guys know me. I will probably paint over and do something different. The bigger, the longer signs I like to put together. We'll get to that in a minute. But this one is the, uh, it says full and it's got a bunch of different pumpkins stacked one on top of each other. And it's pretty long. Let me get my tape measure so I can tell you guys. Okay, these are 23 and a half by five and a quarter at its widest point. So pretty good size. I can see this hanging in an entryway or whatever. So 
I picked up two of those. They have this welcome sign. It's got the pumpkins at the bottom. They did a really good job on this one as well. Now, for these, I picked up five each. Yes, I did leave plenty enough for everybody else. However, I do use like three of these in a sitting when I do DIY with them. So I use these all year round to put them together to make bigger signs. I make all kinds of stuff with these. So I have to keep stacked. And it seems that they only come out with these at Christmas and fall. I've seen like shorter ones at Valentine's Day. But for these, I don't know, maybe it's just my store. But I only see them a couple times a year. So I always pick them up in bulk when I see them. This one is really, really good. I might just have to leave this one the way it is. It says, every year I fall for pumpkins, bonfires, s'mores, autumn leaves, apple and apples, and you. And the pumpkin is um, 3D. The colors are on point. I love this sign. They really did a good job with this one. And all of the signs, um, the long signs I'm going to show you are 23 and a half by 6. Well, 5 and 7 eighths, so close enough. So these are really good size as well. Picked up, like I said, 5 of each. This one is so good. I love it. You guys look at it. Look at this sign. Can you get over that? It's got the buffalo check in the back. It says, thankful and blessed, my favorite saying. It's got the truck with, you know, stuff in the back and in the front of it. I mean, you guys, like, for real? A dollar for this? A dollar. Like, sometimes I'm still blown away at this stuff at Dollar Tree for a dollar. This one's really good. Also, I did something very similar to this last year. So, they must have been watching and copying me. <laughs> yeah, right. Imagine that. But look at those vibrant colors. It's perfect. I mean, I probably am not going to put it up like this. But I might. I don't know. But it's good enough to put it up like this. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Those colors are just absolutely gorgeous. What do you guys think of these signs? Do you think they hit the nail on the head this year or do you think they missed the mark altogether? This one says, hello, autumn. Now this one is not my favorite. Um, I'm not a big, like, sunflower person. My brother loves sunflowers. He literally, you guys, his sunflowers are literally, like, this big around on the stalk. Don't ask me how he gets them that big, but it's unbelievable how big he gets his sunflowers. It's still cute. It's just not my style. But it says, hello, Autumn. I, I'm pretty sure I said that. It's got the design in the back. Cute, cute. Now these, never seen. And I'm very impressed. Now sadly, I only found one of this color. Look at these. They've got that faux wood grain. They're the long signs as well. They've got a pumpkin cut out at the top. And I love it. I wish I could find more. I might have to order some offline, but we'll see. Now, these I got a ton of. These are actual chalkboards. Like, I'm pretty sure that's what it feels like to me. It's the same thing as that one, but it's just black. And I'm pretty sure it's a chalkboard. Hold on. We'll test it real quick. This haul was so big, I literally just sat on the floor Hanging out with you guys, chilling. All right. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Look. Then, if you want to erase it. Yep. Woo! So excited.
excited about that because if you guys didn't know, Chalk Couture is reusable depending upon your surface. So if you're gonna paint a sign with Waverly chalk paint and chalk on top of it, that is not reusable. You are not going to erase that unless you sand it down. For chalk boards and for other boards, like like a dry erase almost material, not dry erase, but it's that white, kind of like a white chalk board. Um, I sell board and bases where it's a double sided like chalkboard almost that's reusable so a lot of things in my shop are reusable but this could be reusable so you would chalk on this and then when you're tired of the design spray it down with a little water scrape it with my scraping tool and then wash it off and you can redo it like how stinking cool is that very impressed Okay, this one definitely was there last year. It is autumn apple cider, hay rides, pumpkins, fall leaves, and it's got like that galvanized piece at the top, and it's kind of like accordion. You could fold it. You could do lots of stuff with these. So I picked up one of these. Now you guys can let me know if you saw this particular design last year. I don't remember seeing it, but this one says gather here with warm hearts and look at that beautiful pumpkin at the bottom. Pumpkins, I should say. I love those muted colors for um, fall. This year, like, I don't know my first video is bright colors and I actually do love it but I really 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 love the muted colors for fall oh and be careful when you get these make sure that your galvanized piece is on there because I'm pretty sure they glued straight to the galvanized piece and then stuck it down because you can tell that the glue like dried right away and it was just falling off so I did have to reattach these. So just be careful if you pick some of these up, make sure it has the galvanized piece on it. Okay, now these are not new, but I do think they changed up the design a little bit on these. So one says give thanks, one says fall harvest. I don't remember them looking like this. I do remember seeing this style sign. But, like I said, I do think that they switched up the colors and the design on it. The, this also, I have seen these last year, but I do think that they switched up the designs on these as well. So these are like the mason jar type sign. One says, always be thankful. Look at that beautiful image, you guys. Like what? I'm telling you guys, I know I say this all the time, Dollar Tree pays attention to Dollar Tree DIY videos and hauls, or not hauls, um, they pay attention to social media because when things are popular, Dollar Tree will come out and this just, like look at the wood grain on it and stuff. Like looking at these, they they seriously pay attention to what's going on, what's going to sell. They're not stupid at all. This one's so cute. Look at the little... That's not nice. Excuse me, Siri? <laughs> My watch picked up saying seriously pay attention and Siri thought I was talking to her. Excuse me. So anyway... These are super, super cute. I love them. Might keep them as is. Maybe throw one in the giveaway. Who knows? It's going to be a surprise box. A surprise box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who doesn't love a surprise? Because I do. <laughs> what was that song? I don't even know. Anyway. 
This one says, Fall Hay Rides Apple Orchard Pumpkin Pie. Look how beautiful this is. And there was another one, and I thought I picked it up, but I don't know. I don't see it. But I will insert a clip here. I did take some clips of the whole sign, like the wall that they put all the signs on. So maybe if I miss something, then um, you guys can see it in the little clip. But I will insert that here. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day. And I'm still so amazed by you So hold me tight through the night mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just us two vibrant colors I love the ba the black background it really makes all those colors pop like wow beautiful but it's got all that stinking glitter on it okay I feel like these were out last year I do maybe I'm wrong but they are the galvanized little, tr uh, one's a truck, one is a wagon. It's got those beautiful, um, like, muted colors. It's got that beautiful blue pumpkin. I know blue is pretty popular for um, fall. I've never decorated with blue for fall, but I have heard that it's becoming popular. I don't know. Um, this one says thankful, still along the lines of those, you know, muted colors. This is definitely new, um, hot apple cider, homemade hot apple cider served here, mold with cinnamon sticks and cloves. That one's really cute. This one's gorgeous. It's got the wood grain. It's got the muted pumpkins. Family. Where life begins and love never ends. Ain't that the truth? Cute, cute. This one says gather together. And this is like the square signs. So I'll do two at a time. This one says pumpkin spice and everything nice. And then these two, one says thankful, grateful, and blessed. And then look at this one. Oh my God. Y'all know that I love trucks. I know I haven't used them in a while, but I love the trucks. Look at that. Farm fresh fall. Get them while they're hot, you guys. Like, look at that. I just, I'm looking at it like, wow. For a dollar. Seriously. Mind blown, you guys. Mind blown constantly. This one I really loved. It says happy fall and it's got this, it, it's like they cut or I know that they cut out the leaf and then they just put a galvanized piece on the back. That is so cute. See. And I do believe that there was another design and I meant to pick it up and of course, obviously, I don't see it. So, sorry guys. Oh my God, you guys. This one's good. This one's real good. Look at this. Oh my gosh. 
The hubcaps are 3D. You've got the red truck with the pumpkins. It says pumpkin patch. Pick your own farm fresh apples, corn, pumpkins, gourds. You guys, this is why I'm saying, this is why I'm saying they pay attention. Because when have you ever seen a sign like this at Dollar Tree? Like, look at that. I just can't. Like, get out. Just get out. Mm -mm -mm. I, can't, I can't wrap my mind around it sometimes. Okay. Now, these are like that metal... I don't remember seeing them last year, but one says gather, one says harvest, and they are both blue, but they're different color blues. I like that they're really lightweight. That's very useful and helpful. Okay, now I did not, I did not see these last year, so I'm just going to show you both at the same time. All right, one says trick or treat. One says beware black cat crossing. And then these are different shapes. And one says welcome to our haunted house. And the other one says the witch is in. Ding dong, the witch is in. I don't know, I think that's wrong. Try to get these. I like that trick or treat one. So I picked up two packs of these and three packs of these. I can see, actually, I'm not going to tell my secret on what my idea is on these because I don't want anybody to steal my idea. Um, but I will also put one of those in the giveaway and I will put one of these in the giveaway. Okay, now we're done signs. You see how many signs that was? That's like insanity. So I am going to go on to the pumpkins. Now I didn't pick up any of the like ceramic pumpkins because I've already hauled some of those. But, I did pick up a bunch of these, like, foam pumpkins. Look at these. Like, a dollar? Get out. The stem is so realistic. Like, it's gold, so it looks beautiful with those. This is velvet, but it looks beautiful with the colors. They're all, like, the, um... I don't know. My friend Amanda from DIY with Amanda, um, she called it something and I can't remember. I'll have to ask her when we're done. I think she called them like gem colors. I don't know. Anyway, go check her out. She just did a haul and um, she also just started a channel. So go check her out. All right. So I picked up a maroon and an olive green color. I picked up like a mustard or a gold and like a mauve pink color. And somebody commented in one of my videos that I, that mauve is not a word because I was getting ready to say like this mauve color. And if you haven't noticed by now, like I like to make up words. <laughs> But when I say mauve I mean like kind of like that color, that blush pink, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. But look how beautiful that is. And then like I said, I picked up the gold. I don't know if you guys could have seen that. And then I picked up a burnt orange color. And I did see a baby blue, but I didn't pick that one up. So, I will also, um, at the end of these few things I'm about to show you, I will also show you the clip of the spot where all these, like, pumpkins were in. Look at these, you guys. I'm throwing them all around. What? What? 
what, what, what? Look at these. There was also a blue color. I did not pick that up either, but you'll see in the clip here in a minute what they look like. I think I got a clip of it. I don't know. But these also have really nice stems on them. Very realistic looking, like pretty good quality. Only picked up one of each of those. Okay, these are, these were out last year, but I have an idea in mind for them. So I did pick up three of these. Now, if you pick these up, make sure the stem didn't break off because I picked up a few, two of them. I got to the register and I realized that the stem was broken off and the lady had to run back and get me two more. So if I had gotten home and they were broken and I realized that I would have been kind of upset. So just make sure that your stems are intact. So yeah, like I said, I got three of those. These are perfect for tiered trays or if you want to paint them over, I think they're really cute for a dollar. Now, these are these new pillows. Now they're super small, so I doubt you would like lay on this. I don't know, maybe I guess my daughter would probably or like steal one for her Barbie dolls or her baby dolls, I don't know. Oops, well, there goes that handle. Anyway. There are the Grateful Hearts Gather Here and the Give Thanks. One is an orange buffalo check. One is a black buffalo check. And then the other two designs. One says Bless Our Family and one says Happy Harvest. Now if there are more than these, I don't know because my stores only had these four. Okay, now we're moving on to all the um, color your own ornaments. Now, I picked up a bunch of pumpkins because last year I ran out and I was highly upset. So, I picked up five packs of the pumpkins. Those are nothing new. I do feel like they changed the shape a little bit. But they did continue on with the pumpkins, the plain pumpkins. These are definitely new to my store. They are like the little hot cocoa or coffee die cut or ornament, whatever you want to call it. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got like a little curve at the top that kind of reminds me of like whipped cream on a hot chocolate or something with the little handle in the cup. I thought they were super cute. They've got the little foxes. And then these are also not new, but I picked up a pack of ghosts. Now there are several other kinds, but I knew that I couldn't use them, so I didn't pick up any more than that. Okay, now these I thought they were new and then I saw my friend Blondie next door put up a post on Instagram of an old project from last year and she had used these so apparently these are not new but when I saw them I was like oh my god these are new they're so cute I got all excited and then I was like oh crap they're not new but they're little I think they're apples because they have a stem and they're shaped like an apple and they're wood. They're, they're, he they're pretty heavy. They're good quality. So I picked up two packs of those. Okay. I am going to show you the ribbon I picked up. Um, now these are perfect if making bows in intimidates you. Go to Dollar Tree and they have already made up bows. Now I personally like to just make my own. I think these look too uniform and like perfect for me but they are really cute and they are perfect like I said for those who don't like making bows so this is definitely a good deal for a dollar they are the blue little trucks with the pumpkins in the back 
and two for a dollar. You can't beat that. So um, those will go into the giveaway. You guys, I am super impressed with the ribbon they came out with this year. So this one has pumpkins and the truck with the pumpkin in the middle or in the back. I picked up one of those I picked up an orange and a green I picked up like this red and cream buffalo check as well as oh I did pick up two of the trucks I thought I grabbed a black buffalo check, but no, I didn't because I remember to have a ton of it here and I didn't need it, but look how beautiful that is. And then last but not least, I picked up this ribbon that says, Autumn, Give Thanks, Hello Fall, Happy Harvest, Splendor, Feast, Fall, Give Thanks. I don't know if I said that, but it's got a bunch of fall phrases. It's got a pumpkin on it, greenery. So, so cute. So I picked up one of these and I'll also insert a clip here and show you guys all the other ribbon that I saw that they had. are just random these are just craft bottles but look at the lids so I picked up two of these okay so I picked up these little velvet pumpkins I only saw the lighter orange and the white but I have seen other people haul like a darker orange but they're just little teeny teeny tiny uh, mind fart, brain fart, um, like velvet pumpkins. And they got the cute little stems on them. So stinking cute. I picked up two of these. Um, they did have these last year. Now, I personally don't really like these, but I know. Probably unpopular opinion, but that's just my opinion. You know what they say about opinions. Everybody's got one because they're like blank. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. So, I will probably include these for you guys, but they're the little mini truck ornaments with pumpkins in the back. Um, looks like wheat, sunflower, little berry picks. They are kind of cute. And then the green one pretty much has the same thing, just in green. Okay, you guys, they killed it in the, like, pick department as far as, like, small little embellishments for your projects. All right, so this is a maroon berry pick. <gasps> Excuse me, you guys. I cannot get it together today. And you get two picks in one, and they have eight berries on each little baby pick. And then I picked up the orange and red ones. There's three in here, but there's two, four, six, eight, ten... 12 berries on each pick, but they're a little bit smaller than the last ones. 
I picked up all three colors of the bigger berry picks that are like the foam berries and five come in each pack. So I picked up this maroon color, this like burnt orange color, and I picked up this yellow color. I mean, for a dollar, you guys, like, seriously. Okay, this is random, but these are little witch's brooms. I did see that they had black, orange, and purple, so I thought that I could do something with these for, like, Halloween decor. I am probably going to do one Halloween video, maybe two. Let me know in the comments, do you guys want to see two Halloween videos do you want to see one or do you want to see none at all? Is Halloween your jam or not? <laughs> oh my God, you guys. I thought I picked up a bunch of these. Where are they? <gasps> Dang it. You guys. Are you for real? Mini hay bales. Oh my god. I love anything mini. I am a sucker for anything that's mini. Eight come in a pack. Now, I don't think they're solid hay. I don't know. I could be wrong, but I think it's like some kind of block of some sort and then they like chopped up like hay very finely and just like glued it to it I don't know it could be wrong but for mini hay bales they're pretty heavy duty so that's what makes me think that they are actually like just glued on like the hay is just glued on there I guess I should have showed these with the pumpkins but oh well um so they have these new pumpkin picks <gasps> Are you kidding me right now for a dollar? Are you kidding me? Look at these colors. I thought I picked up two a piece, but you guys, I was so, like I was running through that store. So anyway, um, I guess I only picked up two orange ones two white ones and one blue one so i will include the blue one in the giveaway but you guys like i still can't get over it this is awesome for floral arrangements um or fall floral arrangements and stuff like that so definitely a good deal for a dollar okay these are not new, but I'll just show them to you real quick. Now, I did get two of each color. There's cream and orange. So, they are pumpkins on a stick. They're called decorative picks. There are really teeny, itty-bitty baby ones. And, uh, two, four, six, ten come in a pack. And then you have the next size up, which is kind of like a medium. You get five in each pack. And then for the biggest ones, you get four in a pack. And they are pretty good size. These are also old news. They are just the pumpkins on a pit on a clip. So I picked up one of each color of these. One is orange. One is that cream color. All right, you guys. We're getting down to the wire here. You guys are the real OGs if you're still here. These are new. I have not seen these before. They're really, they've got some weight to them. One are leaves and they have like burlap around the edge and then buffalo check in the middle now obviously they're not real buffalo check and uh burlap but it is like printed on there so they're really cute as is but i would probably paint them and do something so there's a pumpkin style and a leaf style 
I picked up two of the pumpkin packs, but I only picked up one of these. But I will probably put that one into the giveaway. These are also not new. These are the little baby sunflowers. Eight or nine come in a pack. And they come on like floral wire attached to them. Okay, so these are like yard stakes and I don't know if I saw them last year. I'm pretty sure I did, but they are the same exact uh, like shape and color, but one has a bicycle and says give thanks and the other one has some pumpkins and apple gourd and some other things and says hello pumpkin. And then these pumpkins I thought were so cute. If you're into boho decor, these would be perfect for that. Um, but I did pick up one of each color. And all I saw was the orange, the like reddish color, and the white and yellow. Let me just do it this way. So there is the orange one. They've got all those beautiful little designs. A raffia bow, the leaves. I mean, come on, you guys. They're really good quality, too. There's the red one. The finishes are different. So it's red and black with just a silver... Uh, stem and leaves and then this one look at that you guys it's got like black and red at the top with the yellow and the white I don't know how good that goes together but I guess it's all right looks like the bows upside down <laughs> they all look like they're upside down but I still think they're super, super cute. Okay, now this is, um, I'm going to save these couple items for last because they're not fall related, but they are new. I've never seen them before, so I did want to show them to you guys. Okay, these are all stickers, and they're new to me. So these are just little pumpkins says believe in the magic of harvest carve out some good times happy harvest and it's got the little uh pumpkins and they're kind of like clear but with some color i don't know it's hard to explain but you can see what i'm talking about and they are 3d they're not flat so that's really cute so one for the giveaway one for me these are also along the same lines of that 3D, but these are really, really clear. They're really cute though. They are little, they're like little tombstones and they all say something different for fall. Hello fall. So very thankful. Fall is in the air. Look how beautiful those are. So one for you guys, one for me. Now these are super, super cute. Some of them are 3D, some of them are not. They're those beautiful muted colors. They're like, got the cheetah print. Uh, look how cute these are. <gasps> A lot of these are 3D, but some are not. You've got a little truck. You've got pumpkin pie. Oh my goodness. Okay, this one, I thought I picked up two of that as well, but I guess I didn't. These are super, super cute. It's got a candle and pie and all kinds of fall stuff. Okay. 
Okay, now these I did pick up two of. They're little gnomes. Look how cute. Like drinking coffee and having a good old time. Okay, now on the long, <sighs> along the lines of stickers, these are the DIY stickers, which I don't really know why they call them DIY stickers because a lot of them already have that stupid glitter on it. So this one is like the haunted house, boo, spiders, bats. And then this one is like the scary jack-o'-lanterns and like a pumpkin that's carved out with the Batman sign. Last but not least, fall item. These little scarecrows. Last year I did a reversible sign scarecrow. One was a snowman. The other side was a scarecrow. And this is what reminded me, or this reminded me of that project, but they're super cute. They're little scarecrows. I guess they're considered, oh, yeah, decor. So one is green, one is red, one says hello pumpkin, the other one says harvest blessings. Okay. Now for the non-fall items, there's only a few, so don't worry. So these are brass wreath rings. I have seen these before, but never in this brass color. So it's three rings, and you can do all kinds of different stuff with them. Now, this is a great deal because they sell this exact thing at Walmart for like two or three dollars. So this from Dollar Tree is definitely a good deal. I know you can't kind of like see it, but. And they're all different sizes. So one is. Eight inch round, one is ten around, ten, like almost ten inches round, and the other one is like thirteen and three quarter inches round. So you get a little bit of variety. I saw my friend Amanda haul this. And she has been making these sweet little or cute little potion bottles. So uh, this says sand from my favorite beach and it's got a cork in it. You can take some acetone and remove that and make potion bottles or other things. So I picked up one of those. And then these are all new candle holders. I couldn't think of the word. Okay, so this design, half of it's blue, half of it's white. So this design I've never seen before. And when I brought it up to the cash register, um, like I know all the people that work at the Dollar Trees and she was like, I just put those out on the shelf. So I'm glad you found them because I'm always looking for new stuff and I always ask them like, have you gotten anything new in? And so she was excited to see that I found them because these were new at least to my store. These are also new. Um, they kind of look like the clear candle holders at the bottom, but they have this little top on it and it's solid ceramic or whatever it's called. So I picked up two of those because they're perfect for, you know, either putting together and making a bigger one or putting something on top to make like almost a mini cake stand um, or you just use it as is. So love these. This one's also new. 
it kind of like flares out at the bottom. And last but not least, look how nice these are. Real chunky at the bottom, but I would probably use this for the bottom and then like put something over this. I don't know. But I thought they were really cool. Whoa. So you guys, I know that was a lot. I am so grateful that you are here. If you guys watched the entire haul, let me know by leaving an orange heart in the comment section. If you can't find your heart, just say orange heart. I appreciate you guys so much. I had so much fun shopping for all this stuff and then getting it home and filming this for you guys. I have had this stuff in the back of my car for a couple of days until I had the time to haul it for you guys. So I'm so excited that I finally was able to do that. So don't forget to enter the giveaway, like this video, share it with someone who you think would enjoy it as well. Let me know in the comments what is your favorite holiday and for a bonus entry, go in the description box to my link tree Follow the link to my VIP group, answer the questions, and join the group, and I will approve you, and I will also write your name down and give you an extra entry into the giveaway. So, I love you guys with all my heart and soul. I know that Sophia is missing again today. She is at the pool with her pop again. Um, I'm trying to be extremely mindful of her digital footprint and um i just don't want to cause harm to my kids in any possible way and there are some really crazy people online so i'm not saying she'll never be in my videos but i just don't want her to be in every single haul or every single video because She's very young and I want to protect her. So anyway, with all that being said, I love you guys so much. If nobody has told you today, you are absolutely amazing and stunning. You are gorgeous and I love you with all my heart and soul. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Every single day.